And helping women in need one purse at a time. What started out as a pandemic-related request to help supply a shelter with toiletries has turned into an international movement called Love Purse. Leanne Trotter explains in this Making a Difference report. It's the second year this Hooters restaurant in Joliet has hosted a Love Purse collection event. It's a group effort. We're a huge family here in Joliet Hooters, and I appreciate every single one of them. These Love Purses will be donated to Guardian Angel Community Services, a Joliet-based agency that helps victims of domestic violence and sexual assault. And a lot of them do come to our emergency shelter with nothing. So to receive a purse, I mean, every... Woman likes to carry a purse and to have these much needed items is a, a truly a blessing. Maria Castro, who works for Comcast, was inspired to start Love Purse after a friend who runs a shelter asked for help during the pandemic. The need for the toiletries was because no longer could these shelters share industrial sized shampoos, conditioners, lotions. It all had to be individualized. And she asked her colleague Gwen McNutt to help. And they both thought, you know, would this be a good, viable organization? And, you know, thought yes. And, you know, and, you know, she went through the process of getting it incorporated into a nonprofit and was like, oh, you're on the board. <laughs> And so I agreed right away. Since March 2021, they've distributed over 11,700 love purses around the world. One reason they call it love purse is because each purse contains a handwritten note of inspiration. And these women get these purses and they open them and then they read the notes of inspiration, you know, telling them that they matter, that this too shall pass. And it's incredible what that makes them feel. You know, the dignity that they're given back is what really matters here. Putting love on the shoulders of women in need, one love purse at a time. Reporting from Joliet, Leanne Trotter, NBC5 News.